Welcome to our ongoing weekly clip series, Wolf, Wolf Bites. Bites! Hi, I'm Lynette Wolf. And I'm Brian Wolf. We're, We're the, the Wolf, Wolf Couple! couple. Oh. One of my absolute favorite negotiating techniques and one of Lynette's, I know her favorite techniques, and that is ABC. What does ABC stand for, everybody? Always, Always be closing. That is right. So, Lynette, uh, you love this technique. I love this technique. Always be closing. So, no now matter what the seller says, when you're, you want to stick to the script. So, let's say the seller is veering off the script. You would just interrupt them nicely and say, I'm so glad you brought that up. Write that down. I'm so glad you brought that up. Okay? That's a great way to get back control of the conversation. And no matter what they're talking about, I go right back to the script. So for example, I would say, I'm so glad you brought that up. Let me ask you the reason you're moving. Okay, see how I brought it right back to the script? Because all I care about is ABC, I always be closing. I'm gonna ask you guys here at Taking Action, what are the four tent poles that you're trying to get ABC, right? What is it? Purchase price number one. Number two, monthly, monthly payment. payment. Number three, terms. terms, length of term. Number four, down payment. You guys are getting good oh, now. They are so smart. That's right. Woo. So everybody on the phone, and if you guys didn't write that down, write it down now. You need to figure out all four of those things in order for any deal to proceed. If one of those blanks is not filled out on the contract, then you can't keep moving forward. So when we talk about always be closing, there's an implied focus on those four spaces on the contract. Basically, we want you guys getting those four things answered. And if you uh, don't have those answered, you're not closing. So you want to keep your focus on moving through the script. Now, most of these questions are answered on the second page of your closing call scripts in your, in your material. Everybody pretty much on this call, you guys have our what to say and what to do system. So you're going to use your big three closing calls for the pretty house business. What's number one? Subject two. What's number two? Owner financing. Number three, sandwich lease purchase. Okay, so those are the big three. So you've got to be focused on getting those answers for the lease purchase and the owner financing. Now, do you have to get all four of those answers on the subject two? No. Once you get the answer to two questions on subject two, That's what are the two questions on subject two? Who knows that one here? What's the first question you got to get an answer to? For, what's the subject two? Will you sell us the house for what you owe on it? So yes. that's purchase price. Yes, so will you sell it for what you owe on it? And then if you ask them, will you leave the mortgage in your name you know, for a while, uh, and they say yes to those two questions, you don't have to ask them any terms questions. You've already figured out. Basically, you're just taking over the mortgage as if you were assuming it. Like back in the olden days, you know, when the veterans and all the FHA used to be able to just assume them a mortgage oh, back in those paperwork. days. ABC always be closing. The other thing that this means is they're going to have an objection every now and then, won't they? Won't they, guys? Yes. Every once in a while, they're going to come up with something. So what you're going to do is you're going to address it with the objection answers in the system. And you'll be, do very well with that if you guys just put your role play DVDs in and sit and role play your, your uh, objection answers once or twice through. Now, it, once you answer the objection, what are you going to do? OK, here's the thing. It's like uh, you're a big train, and you're, when you're leaving the station, you're kind of building up. This is during your closing call. So you're kind of building up steam while you're building rapport, and you're chugga, 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 chugga. So you go, you're going faster and faster, and you're building this rapport. And then you're working out the terms, and you're negotiating everything. Now, all of a sudden, a cow wanders onto the track, OK? So you got to slow down, and you got to have the cow catcher nudge the cow off the track. Now, once you've nudged the cow off the track, do you just sit there? Do you just sit there in your train and just wait for another cow to wander onto the tracks? No. What, are you, what do you do? Always be closing. be closing. So you just get right back into the closing call where you left off and keep 
closing. Keep moving forward till the end of that call. And guys, if you read all the way from the beginning and get all the way to the end, and even though they have a myriad of objections along the way, as soon as you answer that objection, just get right back to it. Don't wait around and, and invite them to ask a follow-up question and a follow-up question to that one and go down some rabbit hole because you may never get them back. So answer their question and just keep moving forward. Yes, so that's always be closing. One of our absolute favorite negotiating techniques. That's number 24. We love it when you like a clip. It's even better when you leave a comment. And you can even share it with a friend. Remember to subscribe to get notified of our awesome new videos.